first thing I'm going to do in this uh, project is create an empty C++ project and to do this uh, what we will do is basically go file new project and when we click on that we'll get a dialog box that will open up for us uh, it's just taking a wee bit of time here but uh, hopefully it will appear soon and there we go now make sure you click visual c++ and then take empty project at this point type the name that you want to call uh, your project once you've typed that in click ok ok now what will happen is that uh, visual studio will go away and create all the folders and directories that we require uh, to make this a viable project uh, and they'll appear in the solution explorer on the left hand side you can see them starting to appear just now ok now once we've got them what we want to do is import uh, the files that uh, basically you've, you've got the lab files that you've got into this project ok so to do that what you really want to do is download the lab files uh, put them onto your desktop unzip them there into a folder and now what we'll do is copy the header and source files so you can see here that what we want to do is take all the CPP files that are in there and all the header files in a winner and we want to just scroll down select the last CPP file in that list so click on that will highlight the rest of them there and basically what we want to do is right click and at that point what we should see is that we've got a, a menu comes up and we select copy once we've copied those files uh, what we'll end up doing is we'll go back to Visual Studio and we will uh, put them in or add them to the Visual Studio file uh, project sorry so we'll add these uh, header and source files if we go over to where it says cards DX uh, or whatever the, your project name is right click and go to properties uh, sorry add existing item uh, and inside that folder if you right click and paste that will paste all the header uh, and CPP files into the correct dire directory now click add and once you've clicked add you should see that in the recent or two Visual Studio will populate the project in the correct areas with the header files going into the header files and the source files going into the source files ok and it's quite a good technique because then all your files are in the correct place for Visual Studio now what we're going to do is we've still got um, the images for the cards uh, and the icon and the background to deal with uh, because they are still located in your unzipped desktop file so we're going to copy uh, the cards folder, the icon and the background image and we're going to use roughly the same technique again so we want cards and if we use control and click on blackjack uh, and then scroll down to the bottom and take the background image again use your control key and, press and click and that should select them all ok right click uh, again and we'll get the, the menu appearing it's probably better if you slide up a wee bit and if we do a right click there and say copy and basically we're going to follow the same sort of procedure that we've just done but there is a slight difference to the procedure at this point ok so when we go back to Visual Studio and we're going to add the card folder, the icon, the background image in at this point but again as I said there's a slight difference so we want to go over and do a right click and add add existing and when the dialog box appears where you can see your cpp files and your .h files do a right click and paste and that will paste your files into the correct area ok so they're now in the right directory but this time instead of um, clicking add what we'll do 
this and you can see that they're there what we'll do is we'll click cancel because we don't actually want to add them to the project okay so once we've done that the next stage is to set up the, what we call the include libraries the linker and then finally compile and execute the code okay now because we're using um, DX what we have to do is we have to right click go to properties and when the properties window is open we want to go to the VC++ directories and we want to tell it which directories to look at for all the necessary include files so in the include files we're going to go click the wee down arrow click edit another dialog will appear Give it a wee second. There we go. And we want to click on the wee folder icon. Click on there and it'll open up. Uh, sorry, it won't it'll open up that wee edit box now. Click on the, the treble arrow, the treble dot. There's your dialog box now. And what we want to do is find the location of where uh, the DirectX SDK is. Now, because I'm obviously on C, the C drive on mine, it's under program files and you'll see it under Microsoft um, DirectX and it should be SDK June 2010 in the labs you'll find it under bootcamp and apps so now we click include select folder uh, and then say ok to that and we do the same process again for the library directories but this time for the library directories there's a slight difference okay so click edit dialog box will appear in a second there we go uh, click the folder the three dots the button with the three dots up comes your directory again as I said in the labs you'll find it under apps but in my machine here it's under program files and if you're using it on your own machine it's probably under program files and you'll find it again under Microsoft DirectX SDK June 2010 this time we want to go into the, the library folder or lib folder and we want to select x86 ok x86 click select folder and click ok ok and now at this point we've set up the, the relevant directories but now we need to change the linker and the input uh, and again it's these additional dependencies we need to at this point uh, click down arrow edit and when the dialog box appears we're going to type in the name of the directx libraries that we want so it's d3d9.lib and then just hit return d3 d x oops that should be x 9 dot lib ok and now click ok and that will add these into your project click ok again So at this point that's us set up, we can go up to build, build solution and what that will do is it will compile all of the files together, it will then also look at any external dependencies such as the libraries that we wanted and it will link them together now. You can see it's just been a wee bit too slow here, um, but it's getting there, you can see where it says main.cpp ok, we'll just bear with it for a second or two and it goes now at this point all we're doing is simply building or compiling and linking the files together, we haven't actually run it yet ok and they seem to all be uh, building and linking correctly or, build or compiling at the moment you'll see it linking in a second where it says generating code Okay, it's built the .exe program. Now, if we click 
the green arrow the program will run in a wee second there we go it's starting to run and we should see the window in a wee second uh, and you, there you go there's the card window there and you can see that the cards are there, the dealers at the top and the players at the bottom now unfortunately the dealer's card is visible there the 10, normally you'd see the back of the dealer's card instead of seeing the 10 so if we press T to twist we can get another card, we click OK press T again to twist uh, and we get another card and that looks like a, a good enough number to stick on at that point but the code doesn't have anything for when we stick at the minute so you can press S but nothing really will happen okay so that's as we've 